Hey guys, Tal the Wicked here with another Bee Swarm Simulator video, and today I'm going to be turning in Stick Bugs Nymph Hats. So let's hop in the game here. As you can see, I've finished the quest. You needed 44 billion pollen. You needed to collect 10 billion pollen from the pineapple patch, collect 6 billion pollen from the clover field, collect 5 billion pollen from the dandelion field, collect 250 tokens from Stick Bug. Collect 150 tokens from Stickbug's defense totem. Complete 1,000 or collect 1,000 tokens from Puff Shrooms. Defeat one epic Puff Shroom from the Sunflower Field. Defeat one level 15 plus Puff Shroom and catch 500 falling coconuts. And I was able to get the 500 falling coconuts quickly when I got my coconut backpack. The level 15 plus Puff Shroom was very hard to do. And I got lucky on the Epic Puff Shroom because that was the first field an Epic Puff Shroom showed up in. So let's go up and talk to Stickbug, see what he has to say. Here we go. You pulled through, Fleshbug. These hats will be a perfect fit. Go ahead, nymphs, try them on. Ooh, best of Santa hat. Nice, they look dapper in those things. And they're cheering up already. Now, from the stick nymph, now that the stick nymphs have hats, festive nymphs, nymphs may spawn during challenges you start with me. Festive nymphs give improved loot and grant a stack of festive nymph blessing when you defeat them. That blessing gives bonus capacity, instant bee, gather, conversion, honey per pollen, and bee attack. It stacks up to 250 times and lasts 8 hours. Should be a nice boost to your hive. My stick nymphs are happy and raring to go. How about we test their new hats out now? Alright, so it looks like a stick bug challenge is starting. So you get 50 billion honey... You get five tickets, five ticket planters, one turpentine, ten gingerbread bears, ten star jellies, 250 bitter berries, and one pine cone to the beak whip box. Let's go start our stick bug challenge. See how many uh, stick bug nymph hats we can get in this. Ooh. So here we go. It always starts at the sunflower field. And then it is random where he goes after that every single time. The majority of the time he will go to the clover field, but I've seen him go to other fields. I like his little dance he does in the field. Although stay out of the red spots. I don't think I've seen a one with a festive hat on it yet. No? He went back to the sunflower field. I always like to hit the gingerbread bear house here. There's one with a hat. Let's defeat that. Where is that? There's the token. Got a special token they drop. And there you can see I have it up here. Oh, there's another one with a hat. So just real quick, I got it stacked twice on here. So plus 2,000 capacity, one instant bee gather conversion, one honey per fallen, and plus one bee attack for eight hours. And that just stacks the more you get. So hopefully we can get a couple more of those. Alright, he went to the strawberry field. A couple of stragglers here, one with a hat. There. Did we get... no... Uh, no token, must have went to the other guy. Alright, here we go. Strawberry field is always one of the most difficult because it's so small. The stick bug doesn't have very... Doesn't have anywhere to go, basically. And all the little stick nymphs can basically fill up the field. 
That makes it rather difficult. There we go, we're stacked up to five times now. There's another one with a hat. Yeah, we're stacked up to six times. Let's see what exactly stacks. So it looks like the capacity is the only thing that stacks. It increases capacity. Up to the pumpkin patch. We'll have to come back down for that sprout. Yeah, got hit. A werewolf coming out. All sorts of danger up here. Got good, my bees did a good job. There's another hat we stacked. We're up to seven now. Eight? Nope, just seven. The other guy got that one. Doing a decent job on him, half a million points so far. And as always, you can always drop a stinger, and I'll do that. Don't forget you've got the stingers at your disposal. They can help out tremendously. Here, real quick while I'm not in danger. It gives 1.5 B attack, so... It's always good to give your bees a little bit of a boost, and it lasts for 30 seconds. So you got to keep keep popping it. Keep doing that. Yep. Okay, pop back up in the field. Try to always get my sharpshooter abilities. I can stack up to ten times. So you head it up to mountaintop. Let me stop and hit this real quick. Maybe one of my bees will level up. Maybe not. So we're at a million... 400,000 points now. Oh, great. Mondo Chick's up here, too. Oops. Hit my stinger again, and... Uh, not fun when Mondo Chick's up here, because the bees have to split their time between Mondo Chick and Stick Bug, so Stick Bug always takes longer. Oops. Don't get too close, bees. There we're stacked up to 14 times. Oh, and the stick bug did a totem. Let's go destroy the totem. That gives him plus 25% defense. So, yeah, see it says there on the, the totem, plus 25% defense. Which really slows down your taking down the stick bug. And then th these usually don't take very long to take out. So you might as well come get them. You can get the defense totem tokens. And then head right back up there to them. So he must start doing that at level 6. Because he didn't do a defense totem before that. So pop back up here. Try to avoid getting hit. The bees will take a while because I went all the way back. But... And another defense totem. I try to get him as quick as possible because his defense, it's really good for him. So as you can see on there, it says defense totem plus 25% stick bug defense. So there we go, the other guy joined me real quick, took it out just like that. Fire there. We'll fire back to the red from the red cannon up there. Take the bees a little bit to get up here, but they'll get here. Let's see if I can 
circle these guys all up. Then once the bees start getting in here, they'll start popping. Stick bugs back up. We still got 50 some thousand to go. Oops, 2,000. Finger, speed that up a little bit. We've still got a minute and some time. It's unfortunate that the Mondo chick was up here, but just the way the timing ended up. Looks like we might take out Mondo chick first. Uh -oh, I better be careful here. Another defense totem. I'm gonna stay up here because Mondo Chick's about to pop. Now I'll go get this totem. I'll probably be back in time. Oh, maybe not. 45 seconds left on the stick bug. It didn't take very long to get this totem, especially after the bees take care of the. Mantises. There we go. Now that the stick bug uh, is the only thing up there on the mountain, the bees should be able to fight it a lot quicker. Mm -hmm. Get Stinger prepared. Well, we did get some of the loot from the Mondo chick. See how much is left of stick bug. Oh yeah, we should be able to get him. 11,000. I guess that's it. So there's that. That was finishing the Stick Nymphs uh, Bees Miss Quest. So let's take a look at the amulet we got. So we got a Stick Bug amulet, 42 Royal Jellies, 459. Uh, uh, cookies, treats, I should say. Let's see what we got here. My old one's got a better convert rate and better pollen. So I'm going to keep the old one. So that was turning in the Stick Bugs Chris Bees Miss Quest. So, as always, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I love reading your guys' comments. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you later. And see you in the next video.